So a couple of weeks ago I crashed my mill. I have managed to um, source some new gears. For the Tufnell gear I destroyed from America of all places. So we'll get the motor and everything off. We'll get it stripped, get it replaced. I've unplugged it. I'll make a start. So first thing off is get the ejector nut off. And then we'll disconnect the motor. Four bolts. Right, be careful when you take the motor off because there is the oil screw, which is just a bit of nylon plastic there. Don't break that. Good luck trying to find a spare. Don't ask me how I know, because I know. Next thing is six screws in the top here. Before you pull the cover off as well, just make sure there's no bits of Tufnell gear lying around the top that could fall in the gearbox. I did clean a load of it out and I've recovered all of the teeth I did when I did it. So. Lift that off nice and gently. And we have access to the Tufnell gear. As you can see, just there is where it's damaged. Hex head fitting there. There is the screw. Comes with a little serrated washer you don't want to lose. The bigger washer. And that should just pop off like that. That's a tough null gear off. So I need to press these roll pins out. You notice that this piece here, this side, is bigger than that side, so it needs to come off this way. So we'll get them roll pins knocked out. Lose them. Where's my punch gone? Did I put the punch in my pocket? Yes, I did. Little toffee hammer. I think these pins are an afterthought. I don't know if the Tufnell gear's been spinning off. Right. Next bit, we'll get that pressed off. So I made a little mandrel up, which would just fit over that. We should be able to press it out of the vice. Got it. So there's the old one off. There's a the mandrel it sits on. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but the holes are a bit pissed there. Looks like somebody's done them by hand. Very odd. Well, right, we'll get that cleaned up anyway. Right, I'll just give that a blast off with brake cleaner and all these slots looks like glue. It'll be a bit tedious getting them out, so I'll get all them cleaned out. A few minutes later. That's a good clean up. Now there is a recess in there, and the new gear it needs to be pressed on. The, the supplier recommends we use a bit of super glue or CA glue. Cyanobacteriaceae.
has that got it? Say so. It's not gone in quite flush. We'll see how we get on. I'm going to redrill these holes now and we'll put those roll pins back in because belt and braces. Why not? So there we go, all pressed on. Let's get it fitted back in the machine, see what happens. So I'll get the key, key way aligned. He says, with ease, not have it in gear. Let's have it in a higher gear. There we go. Bringing it in gear just jams the gearbox up a little bit. Helps to line things up. Throw my allen key on the floor. Look at it, it didn't go too far. Whilst you're in here as well, it's also worth checking the locking screw in there, make sure that's still tight because these can unscrew and walk up a little bit, which is what you don't want. Get the cover plate back on. I'm going to see how we get on with this gasket, see if it leaks or not. I'm an idiot, I put the wrong screw in there. It's two different lengths of screws. I'm not showing that very well, am I? You know, the shorter ones go in the back where the motor engages. and straight. Four screws back in there. Forget the ejector nut. So, first start up, now everything's nipped down. Got it in its lowest setting. Sounds nice, no towards rattling. We'll let the oil get up and circulate around that. And then we'll try some higher speeds. Let's try high three, fastest speed going, 2000 RPM. Oh, 
actually sounds really nice. Happy with that. As I'm an idiot and liable to crash the mill, I did get a spare gear anyway. And as a start reminder, I've got the old Tufnell gear there that I will keep. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put them in a handy position where I know where they are so I don't lose them for next time I make a massive mistake. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.